Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matthias and today I'm going to try and break a record and make the, my first 5 minute video ever, okay so let's go for it. Title of this video is how to repair all items in Scum. So you want to repair sharp items like knives and any item that can cut rags or whatever, you want to repair blunt items, okay, you want to repair your clothing and you want to repair your armor. Okay, if there's anything else that you guys want to repair that I didn't cover, please let me know down in the comments below. So first of all, to repair your clothing, like this, this shirt has only got 99% durability, you right click and you can repair it with the improvised sewing kit, which you need a bone needle or needle from a puppet and thread. Okay, so that's how you can repair all your clothing. Um, secondly, to repair a sharp item, you need to be in front of a drill press or any kind of workstation, okay, and you need to have toolboxes in your vicinity, then you can repair sharp items. Now what I want to see is a lot of you have commented in my previous videos that you can only repair an item to 50% if, it's, if it drops below 20%, some of you said 25%, so let's just check it out. This one's 21%, so let's just see if we can repair it up to past 50%, okay? Okay, this is gonna stuff up my five minute target. <laughs> okay, let's just go, let's just go, okay? Bam, okay, so it was on 21%, guys. I, I damaged it on purpose to 21%, and then I put my clothing on the fire behind me to damage that, in case you guys were wondering why there's a fire behind me. I put my clothing in there, Okay, okay, so it's not 20%, okay, um, it's not 20%, okay, that's interesting. In any case, to repair your helmet or your armor, you just need to have um, a toolbox, okay, that's 46%, there it's 100%. The armor, repair, just need to have a toolbox, guys, like it's using the big toolbox there, okay. Now we can repair again, it's probably going to use um, the next toolbox. Um, there we go, took that away. Okay, so there your helmet and your armor is repaired. And then of course to repair a blunt item, you don't really need to be at the, you don't need to be at that workbench, okay? Okay, but you do need to have a toolbox with you. So let's just grab a toolbox here. So just with the normal toolbox, you can repair um, a blunt item, okay? And the blunt items much faster. You're gonna need to do some work with the sharp items, but I think it's good um, that they did it that way, okay? So 20% doesn't work, 20% doesn't work. So let's just check this quickly. Let's let's get, let's get grab a Bushman. Um, let's just grab a Bushman here. Um, spawn item, Bush, Bushman. Okay, we put it in our hands. Um, then we go T. Come on, damage in hands. Let's make that. The, okay, some of you said 25%. Let's make it 26. Let's make it 26. Okay, so that's 26%. Okay, so let's see if we can repair it to full um, from 26%. Um, because clear, you know, clearly, clearly um, we haven't got the precise number yet. And where on earth did my knife just go? Okay, okay, okay. Let's repair it again. Okay, so the winner is 25%, boys. You don't want items, you don't want your weapons to go past a durability of 25%. As soon as a, as a melee weapon um, 
goes lower than 25%, then you won't be able to repair it fully. So just make sure you keep your, your blunt weapons and your sharp weapons, especially if you've got like a cleaver or a bushman that you don't want to lose. Don't let it go past um, lower than 25% durability because you know, then you're going to have to re uh, um, repair it repeatedly. Okay, but that's it, boys. That is how you repair all your items. And if you want to repair a car, you need a vehicle repair kit. If you want to repair a weapon, you need a weapon cleaning kit. Okay, if you want to know what that looks like, I'll just spawn it in for you guys quickly. So, spawn, um, repair. So, yeah, that. Repair. Um, tire repair kit. And then a cleaning kit. And then... I must say I haven't I haven't um, found this in a while. Okay, so but I'm sure it's still in the game. But yeah, if you find a grinding stone, that's gonna you know, then you just need the grinding stone. So if you've got a grinding stone at your base, but I mean you can make a workbench at your base as well. You know, like um, where is it? Where is it? There. You can make a workbench at your base as well. Okay, so that's always an option. But that's to repair a car, that's to repair the tires, but you can craft an improvised um, tire repair kit with uh, five rubber bands, glue, if you ever wondered what glue is for, five rubber bands, glue, and a sharp tool. You can make a, um, a tire repair kit, and a weapon cleaning kit is for weapons, you know, a uh, grinding stone is for knives. If I missed anything, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, click the like button. If you aren't subscribed yet, subscribe because I am batshit crazy about this game. See you guys in the next video where I'm going to show you the ultimate character build. If you want to become the ultimate character in the future. Cheers.